Hi, this is Nathan. I'm here with my son Jesse uh, on Unusual Bee Works. And I was going to show you a little project that we build in our spare time. This is a glass aquarium that we've turned into a bee gun. And uh, it's real simple. There ain't much to it. I ain't, I ain't no extra. I ain't no carpenter by no means. But this is something that anybody can build. It's real simple. This is a 10 gallon glass aquarium. Uh, you can buy them at Walmart or anywhere. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't very expensive. And we've, take, we've taken it and we've knocked the bottom out of the aquarium. And uh, we got all the glass out of it. You better make sure you wear gloves. I learned that the hard way. But we got all the glass out of here. And I just took a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. And uh, we cut it to the size of the bottom of the aquarium and just a little bit longer for our lip here and this is just spare pieces of, of plywood and wood I had laying around here these strips here are inch and three quarters and we just set the aquarium up on these on these two bottom pieces here that I made so that it would leave like a three quarter inch hole under here for the bees to come in and out of really really real simple nothing to it anybody could build this and we caulked around the outside here to seal it off. Well, like I say, it's, it's real simple. Anybody can build this. If you got a, a skill saw and a, a tape measure, any, anybody can do this right here. But the aquarium came with this, with this screen top. And uh, I found out that these deep, that a regular deep frame that fits in your deep hive body, I found out that they would fit right down in this aquarium. The only thing that I had to do was I modified the top of it just a little bit by putting two little thin strips of wood on the top of it here to make it just a higher longer. I think it may be all together maybe an inch longer than what it was. So that when we put it in here, it'll sit right down on the top of the aquarium. And this aquarium will hold six frames. It'll hold six frames of foundation for the bees. They fit right down in there. And there you've got six frames in there. Get them fixed right here. And they fit right down in there, mash them together. And there you have it. And I took and I took this top here and I put me two little thin strips so that it would match this. And I, I caulked them down there. And then it goes right down over. Fix that one. The end one. It'll go right down over the top here. And see it fits, fits right down there flush. Now if you wanted to use that for ventilation, if it's a real hot day, give your bees some ventilation there. The air comes through and it'll keep them cool and bees won't be flying up in your face. But I also built this here, this regular top that'll fit right over it. It ain't nothing but just inch and three quarter pieces with a piece of plywood. And it'll fit right down over top of that. They call it a telescope, telescoping top. It's just like what goes on most bee gums. And that's how you can build you an observation hive where you can watch your where you can watch your bees. I think my son's having some technical difficulties here. That's how you can build you a glass, glass aquarium beehive and be able to watch your bees. Now me and my son, we've been talking about taking this bottom off of this thing right here and just building, just building this straight down and making this all one piece. And you could make it, you know, you could build it on down here two inches or whatever and cutting us a three quarter inch hole right here making all this just cut this off and make all this like a square box and if we cut us a three quarter inch hole I could stick this right here on the inside of this building right here and I could take a piece of pipe say a piece of pipe like this right here and run it right through my building and run it right into this aquarium like this right here and it would fit right in that hole and you could caulk it up and then you could have your you could have you an observation hive inside your building. This is on the outside of my building. 
this is the pipe coming through my building it's a three quarter inch piece of water line I built a, I put a little old uh, piece of scrap wood for the bees to land on and go in and out of our observation hive now got it installed in my my outbuilding outside here I, I've built a frame to put it on and uh, we've also uh, drilled a hole we put we drilled a three-quarter hole through my building wall we put a piece of three-quarter inch black water line pipe through the wall and screwed it down outside so that the bees now have a hole to go in and out of when we get bees um, I also fix the frames in here. Now these are regular deep hive body frames is all it is. This is a regular that we've modified and we've put a little wooden strip on top. If you if you can see here this is a regular deep hive body frame. No modifying. These are what you get at the bee supply place. But you can see when I try to put that in there it's, it just isn't long enough to catch. You see it, it would fall down in. So we put this little wooden strip on top here so that it catches the little lip edge inside the aquarium. And that makes it fit just perfectly inside the aquarium there. And uh, we also, I decided while we were at it to uh, go ahead and, and get another aquarium you can get these aquariums at any Walmart or a pet store. They're 10 gallon aquariums. And we went ahead and got another one. That way when the bees fill up the bottom brood box, we'll have another box here on top for them to start on. Now these frames here, I built myself. And uh, they're 12 and a quarter long. And they're they're the they're the standard size frame across the top. Of course, we we put the little wooden piece here just like we did in the bottom. Let me find that. Like I said, right here's a standard size brood frame. You can see the difference here. Can you see that difference? This back one is the one that I built, and I just made it longer. It's twelve and a quarter, so that it would come all the way almost to the top of my other frames. These fit right down inside just like the other ones did. Sit right down on the edge there. Just like so. We also, I built a hive top feeder. Uh, I've, got the, I've got the knowledge in the designs from the Fat Bee Man. You can go to his, uh, to his channel on YouTube and, and look that up. And that just, your feed goes right in here. Your bees go up through here to feed, and they get in this cage here, and they'll drink out of this. They can't get out of this box. You can set this right up here, and we can feed our bees from inside of our building here, just like so. Of course, we throw our top on there. There you have it. Observation beehive. I think they cost about $12 or $13 for an, for an aquarium. So... That's, that's really, really inexpensive to have your own beehive that you can come in and, and watch and, and observe them and see what all's going on. Now, once, once I put bees in here, I'm going to upload another video and show you the bees working in here and going in and out of the building. One other thing before I forget, I bought this black masking tape or duct tape here, and I'm going to, once we put bees in here, Whenever I decide to put this top aquarium on here, which will probably be a few weeks, maybe a month or two, as soon as they get this filled up, I'm going to put this one on. Then I'll just take this duct tape here, and I'll, I'll tape these two hives together. Just like so, I'll go all the way around it, and I'll tape it together so that it don't do like it's doing now. And then the bees won't be able to they won't be able to get out, and there you have it. This is Nathan at Unusual Bee Works. Thanks for watching.